This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening. I'm James Spann. The sky is now clear over much of south and west Alabama, the clearing line working east, and the rest of the week looking pretty good. What about that chance of rain over the weekend? Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon, starting from Hamilton High School in Marion County, where the sky is becoming partly sunny. Uh, down to a Fayette. That's our Fayette Sky Cam. Again, some uh, blue sky showing up there as the dry air begins to take over. And talk about blue sky. Yeah, that's looking good. That's our Sky Cam on the Gulf Coast. A bright, sunny day. Spring break crowds love to see the sun coming back, and they will be in good shape for the rest of the week through uh, Saturday, sunny days and fair nights. Maybe a few showers down there by Sunday and early next week, but I don't think the rain will be all that heavy. Here's a look at the visible satellite view, and you can see that uh, the sky is clearing nicely. Uh, about 2 o'clock uh, west of a line from Muscle Shoals to Tuscaloosa to Selma to Bruton. And that clearing is working its way eastward, and everybody should be clear later this evening. Temperatures are cooler than average, but not as cold as yesterday. At least we're moving in the right direction. Most everybody in the 50s, Birmingham 52. We'll expect to be in the 60s tomorrow, and uh, hey, how about mid-70s by Friday? That's a big picture. You can see a, a new trough out across the central plain states, and often when you see that in March, you think we're going to see some storms, but not this time. Now, the main issue with that thing is going to be a snowstorm in the cold air sector of the storm. Here's a look at temperatures this afternoon around the nation. You can see how it is turning colder behind the system. Warm air coming up through Texas. They're in the 80s there. But the cold air this time should stay north of here. Uh, we've got winter storm warnings in effect from Nebraska up through parts of South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, where a strip of heavy snow is likely with a deep surface low. But really, the weather in the warm sector very inactive because the air is just too dry. In fact, really not much rain for the next five days. This is the rain valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock local time, showing uh, really one hundredth to one tenth of an inch, and that's about it. And that would be on Saturday if we do see rain. Take a look at this thing here, modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock at 500 millibars. You can see the troughing passing through the eastern Great Lakes. Very deep surface low is over Michigan. Looks like it's about 995 millibars. And there could be a few showers or sprinkles along the trailing front uh, down into Kentucky and Tennessee. But again, with the lack of moisture, we're not going to mention any chance of rain here. Uh, the day tomorrow should be partly sunny, and the cold air will not affect us. In fact, tomorrow should be noticeably warmer with a high in the upper 60s. Here's a look at Thursday. Should be a beautiful day, bright and sunny. Uh, we start the day in the low 40s, the high, mid to upper 60s. Should be hard to find a decent cloud in the sky. And Friday looking good, sunny with mid-70s likely. The GFS printing a high of 74. Excellent. Now, what about Saturday? A lot of weekend plans. You can see energy in the southern branch, and we've got a surface boundary coming in from the north. That's a cold high north of Montana, and this is suggesting there could be a few rain showers about maybe north of the state, uh, over north Mississippi and parts of Tennessee, around Memphis and Jackson, Tennessee. But really, this is suggesting a pretty decent chunk of the day Saturday could be dry. This is Saturday night just after midnight, 1 a.m. Sunday, and again... A front is just kind of bogging down and stalling out, but there's not much support and not much moisture. So, yes, there could be a few showers, but looks like we're not going to see a lot of rain. And this is Sunday, and the cooler air tries to push in from the north as the surface boundary edges down toward Montgomery and just kind of stalls out. Uh, I, I have a funny idea we're going to see a very tight temperature gradient Sunday. Up in the Tennessee Valley, they might see a high of about 50, but Montgomery and Point South could see a high of about 70. Uh, for the Birmingham Metro, we might have a hard time getting out of the 50s. Sunday could be noticeably cooler with a pretty good north breeze. I get the idea that's going to be the case. And again, there could be some patchy light rain, but nothing heavy. This is Monday. The front is stalled out near US 80. Uh, rain will continue mainly over the southern half of the state. North Alabama should be cool and dry. And if you're beachbound next week, notice the chance of showers Monday. And this is Tuesday, a week from today. Uh, we go dry. Uh, Gulf Coast dry, Alabama will be sunny, but uh, cooler than average, highs in the low 60s and lows in the 30s for us Tuesday of next week. We'll check the end of the month, Mar uh, month March 31st. Hey, pretty good looking trough, a deep surface low that is located uh, west of Chicago, 987 millibars. That would be a blizzard for Minnesota if this is right. 
and a band of showers, maybe some thunder down here. Not so sure we see any severe weather, but hey, it's the end of March, 1st of April. You have to watch those things. And we'll see if there's any consistency in this idea. And then this is April 3rd. We are dry and seasonal, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.